Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Magnus Carlsen and Vladimir Potkin. This is the game from FIDE World Rapid Championship that was played in Dubai in 2014. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with e4. Vladimir Potkin played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, e6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to c6, knight to c3, queen to c7, bishop to e3, a6, preventing knight to b5, preparing b5 and bishop to b7, a3, knight to f6, f4, knight takes on d4, queen takes on d4, Knight to g4 attacking the bishop. White to move. How should white continue? Maybe bishop to d2 to save the bishop? Carlsen played queen to b6. Bishop to d6. If a queen takes on b6, bishop takes queen d6, bishop to e2 attacking the knight, knight to f6 castling the queen side and white has much better development. So Potkin played bishop to d6, e5, knight takes bishop on e3, queen takes knight, bishop to e7, Carlsen castled queen side, b5, knight to e4, Potkin castled king side, bishop to b3, Bishop to b7. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Carlsen played a knight to f6 check. Bishop takes knight. If pawn takes on g6, then a queen to g3 check. King to h8, queen to h4 threatening checkmate, f5, queen takes bishop on e7. So we have bishop takes on f6, pawn takes bishop, g6, f5, clearing the path for the queen. Queen wants to come to h6 and then queen to g7 checkmate. Queen to d8. Queen to g5. If a queen goes to h6, the queen takes pawn on f6. There is no checkmate. So Carlsen played queen to g5. Rook to c8. F takes on g6. F takes on g6. White to move. What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Carlsen played bishop takes on g6. Queen takes pawn on f6. If h takes on g6, queen takes pawn check, king to h8, queen to g7 checkmate. So we have a queen takes pawn on f6. White to move. How would you continue? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Carlsen played bishop takes pawn on h7 check. Bishop to f7 check is also winning. If king goes to h8, then queen takes queen. If king takes bishop, then the rook from h to f1 is winning. And this is a very interesting variation. Rook takes on c2 is perhaps the best try. King takes rook. Bishop to e4 check. King to b3. Saving the queen. Maybe. Queen takes queen. King takes queen. And now g4 is winning for white. 
Okay, let's go back to our game. So this is the position. Carlsen captured on h7. It looks like that bishop to f7 is winning even faster. We have bishop takes on h7 check. King to h8. If king takes bishop, rook takes on d7 check. Rook to f7 blocking. Queen takes queen, winning for white. So after check, pot king played king to h8. Queen to h5, threatening some kind of discovered check. King to g7, rook takes on d7 check. Rook to f7, bishop to d3, queen to f4 check. King to b1, rook takes rook. Queen to h7 check. King to f6, queen takes rook. And black resigned. One possible line goes like this, saving the bishop and the queen by playing bishop takes on g2, preventing rook to f1, then rook to e1, threatening queen or rook takes on e6, defending queen to e8. Black's biggest problem is his exposed king, for example, if queen goes to g5, and there is checkmate. If queen goes to d6, then check, and after king to e7, queen takes bishop. And we can stop here. How many moves did you guess? Let's go back to these very interesting positions of the game. So this is first very interesting position when Carlsen sacrificed the knight. Did you see knight to f6 check? What about move 21? This was easy to see, wasn't it? Bishop takes on g6. And in this position, what was your choice? Bishop takes pawn on h7 or bishop to f7 check? Or something else? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.